Hey, Paul here with another quick tip. And today I want to talk to you about how you can transfer files from your 8 series to a phone, like this iPhone I prepared earlier. So this, why would you want to do this? Well, maybe you've recorded a whole bunch of takes on here and you want to get them to your phone so that you can email them or share them on Dropbox or however. You might also want to bring in files so that you can edit them here, top and tail them, or maybe convert them to other formats for transcription. Not that you really need to do that with the 8 series because they already have transcription format AAC built in. But let me show you how this is done. It's really cool. So, first of all, you need an app. And in this case, I'm showing an app called Twisted Wave, which is an audio editing app and converter app, it's uh, pretty cool. It's only about nine bucks. There are other, other apps on the market you could probably use for this too, but this is the one I'm demoing with right now. Before I transfer files to this app and this phone, I should record some files really first. So let's come down here and I'm just gonna hit record two or three times. So that's 100 take one, um, this is 100 take two, and this is 100 take Three, good. Okay, we have three takes there, which we're gonna transfer across. So, let's open the app. So click on that. And currently I have no audio files in here, so I have to import some. So there's an import uh, button down here. I click on that. And I'm going to select Document Picker. And now here I can select different folders of uh, of, that are on my iPhone that I can import from. But in this case, I want to import from my 8 series. So to do that, you browse back a level, and here I'll be able to see any connected drives. At the moment, my 8 series isn't connected to my phone, so let's look how to do that. So you're gonna need, basically, a USB-C to USB-A cable. The USB-C Connector goes into the USB-C port on the uh, 8 series. And then here's an, an Apple camera connection kit, which basically allows you to connect the other end, USB-A, in there, and then into my lightning port on my phone. Now, for the drives to appear on my phone, the internal drives and the SD cards to appear on my phone. I have to put the 8 series into USB file transfer mode. So let's do that. Come down here. I'm going to scroll down to my files menu just here. And then I'm going to select USB file transfer. Now if we look at the screen here, you'll see that the drives very quickly appear in my locations. So now I have my drives mounted. So let's take a look at my SD card, and you can see the three files I just recorded here, 100 take one, 100 take two, and 100 take three. So I'm going to import those into my Twisted Wave application just by touching them. And you can see, here's my file that I recorded. I can play it back, I can, I can stop it, I can top and tail it and edit it. But in this case, I'm just simply going to um, convert this and share this file. But before I do that, I'm just going to go back and import the other two files. So let's choose the other one. And then let's choose the other one. So we've got three, three files here. Okay, there they all are in my list. Uh, let's assume I've edited them or done whatever I want to do them. So now I'm going to select all of them by touching select up here, hit select all. And now I'm gonna to click touch this share icon down at the bottom. Now what this does is bring up a window which allows me to choose how I want to share it. You can choose the format. So if I touch format, I'll get all these choices for what audio file format I want to share it in. Uh, Wave, MP3, AIFF, AAC or what have you. I'm gonna stick with MP3. I'm gonna set its bit rate to, let's say 128 kilobits per second. So now I've chosen the format that I want to export in, and now I'm going to choose the destination. Now, yeah, at this point I could email it, I could send it as a text message, I could FTP it, send to Dropbox, but I, what I actually want to do is send 
the converted MP3 files in this particular case back to the 8 series so that they're sitting in the same folder as my original uncompressed WAV files. So let's have a look. So I'm going to hit Document Picker down here and I'm going to select my SSD drive just here and I'm just going to store these files at root so I've done that I'm just going to hit save up here in the top right corner and now it's done the conversion so let's see if those files have ended up back on the 8 series I'm going to put this down at this point um, I'm exiting out of file transfer mode I don't need this USB cable anymore so I'm going to come into my take list here and I'm going to go to my files list and navigate to the SD uh, volume down here and let's check that my MP3 files are there. Oh look, there they are, one, two, three, conforming to the same three files that I originally had there. And now I can send that card off and post or your client will have access to all that stuff.